Now building the house of God is our only God-given responsibility over our Christianity. Building the house of God is our only God-given responsibility over our Christianity. Building the house of God is our only God-given responsibility over our Christianity. Building the house of God is our only God-given responsibility over our Christianity. Say building the house of God is our only God-given responsibility over our Christianity. In other words, once we have raised the house of God, our responsibility over our Christianity is over. The measure we have become the house of God, our personal responsibility in our Christianity is over. Now to be the house of God is to be the son of God. To be the house of God is to be the son of God. When the Bible talks of the house of God, the Bible talks of the son of God. It talks of the earthly habitation of God. Or the form in which God exists on earth. One has a view. So to be the house of God is to be the son of God. So when we are talking about us raising the house of God, we are talking of us growing our sonship. When we are growing our sonship, we are providing God with a dwelling on the earth. To be the house of God is to be the son of God. For the material vessel of the son is the only dwelling. Is the only dwelling of God on the earth. For the material vessel of the son is the only dwelling of God on the earth. Now, can we claim to have God indwelling or existing in any one environment beyond the measure of their sons? So where sons are absent, God is also absent. And that's how important sons are. Where sons are absent, then God is also absent. That God exists on earth in form of the Son of God. That God, I've said for the material vessel of the Son is the only dwelling of God on earth. That God exists on earth in form of the Son of God. God exists on earth in form of the Son of God. God exists on earth in the material body or vessel of the Son of God. God exists on the earth in the material body or vessel of the Son of God. God exists on earth in the material body or vessel of the Son of God. 
So when you are raising that body of Christ, you are building the house of God. You are the house of God to the measure you are the body of Christ. And you raise that body by receiving the spirit of truth. By magnifying the spirit of truth in you, you are raising the body of Christ that you are. So you are raising the house of God. You don't raise the house and then God comes in to indwell the house. No. It is God you receive to raise his own house. It is God you receive to raise his own house. The spirit of Christ is the cross that eliminates the physical man to take his place. And when the physical man is eliminated, we say the house of God has been raised. So God exists on earth in the material body or vessel of the Son of God. In fact, to be a Christian is to be the Son of God or is to be the person of God. In fact, to be a Christian is to be the Son of God or to be the person of God. In fact, to be the Christian, to be a Christian is to be the Son of God or to be the person of God. The Christian is God in the bracket Christ in every way. And whatever is true of God is true of the Christian. The Christian is God or Christ in every way and whatever is true of God is true of the Christian. I'm saying the Christian is God or Christ in every way. Whatever is true of God is true of the Christian. Anything that is true of God is true of the Christian. The Christian is God who exists among those of the world to define God to them. The Christian is God who exists among those of the world to define God to them. So the world does not need to go to heaven. The world gets God defined to them by the Son of God. By the Christians among them. We exist here to define God to the world. The Christian is God who exists among those of the world to define God to them. The Christian is God who exists among those of the world to define God to them. Thus we avail God to ourselves and to the world on earth by building the house of God that we are in our sonship. That we avail God to ourselves and to the world. On the earth, by building the house of God that we are in our sonship. We can cultivate growth and avail God in this nation. Thus we avail God to ourselves. So the failure of God to be seen in any one nation is the failure of the church. Is the failure of the Christians to build him a house. Whenever God house existed in the right condition in Israel, God existed in Israel. Whenever that house was interfered with, God was absent in Israel. Same with us. I'm saying that we avail God to ourselves and to the world. On the earth. See, the Christian wants so much of God. But the Christian does not want to invest so much to raise God a house. We want so much of God. But we want a God that has no house here. Aye. 
We don't want to become the sun, to grow our sonship. Yet we want so much of God here. In our family environment. We want God in our marriages. We want God in our businesses. We want God in our nation. We want God in the rulership. We want God everywhere. But we forget one thing. We are the basis of God being in any one place. Without us Christians, without us sons, God is not. So that's we avail God to ourselves and to the world on earth. By building the house of God that we are in our sonship. Now let's get to scripture. I want this scripture, no, no, not that you are. Let's begin with that scripture. I want us to see the reality of raising the house of God, the consequences also of not raising the house. Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your material body is the dwelling of God who is spirit. And God does not have any other dwelling on earth except the material body of his sons. You are the temple of God. The way everyone went to the temple to find God, everyone should come to you to find God as a Christian. Praise the Lord. Anything that relates with you should relate with God. But that is the measure, only to the measure you are building the house of God in it. Because God dwells in you to the measure you have raised his house. Amen. Praise your mother, praise of raising the house of God. Praying is your mother, praise of raising the house of God. Melissa. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. Read again, you are running too much. As if the reading is the preaching. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The body of a Christian. The body of our Son of God, the body of Christ, is the temple of the Spirit. A temple is a dwelling. It is in the bodies, in the vessels of Christians that God dwells on earth. No wonder, clearly in the Bible, when the church is raptured, that will be the end of the spirit here. When the church is raptured, that is, will be the end of the spirit here. Why? Because the spirit will have no more temple. It will have no more house. Come on, he cannot stay here just in the hair. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Let me tell you, the measure of God in any one environment or nation is the quality of Christians in that nation. Is in the quality of Christians in that nation. The quality of a Christian you are, the quality of the Son of God you are, defines the measure of God that accompanies you. Defines the good measure of God in your environment. You build the house of God to make it more quality. How do you build it? By praying and by giving God opportunity to fellowship with you that he may find way to you. 
When God is finding way to you, the house of God in you is being raised. From glory to glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Finish. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you? Yeah. Whom you have from God? Who is in you? So you are a temple to the measure the Spirit exists in you. Amen. So the rising of the house of God that you are and the coming of God in that house takes place simultaneously. Amen. They take together, uh, pray place together. There cannot be a house of God where there is no God. Amen. There cannot be a house of God in you beyond the measure there exists God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you raise the house of God by receiving God. What has it feel? Praise the Lord. Amen. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own. And you are not your own. What has it feel? You are not. You are not your own. Because you are not you yourself. You are not a called God. So you cannot claim to be your own. What has it feel? You belong to God. Price. You have been bought with a price to become a house of God. Amen. You have been bought a, with a price to become the temple of the Spirit. Spirit. The temple of the Spirit is a material owned by God. So you cannot live the way you want. Because you are not your own. You are not your own because you are not the original you that you are. Born as a theory. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Peter 2, 4 to 5. Then we get to my mother's scripture. First Peter chapter 2, from verse 4. Coming to him as to a living stone. Yeah. When you come to him, when you are born again, to come to him is to become one with him. Amen. To come to him is to become him. Amen. To be born again is to become Christ. Amen. To the basic measure. Amen. Is to become God. To the basic measure. Amen. Is... So when we come to him, we also become living stones. When we come to him as a living stone, Amen. then we partake of his life Amen. and become living stones. Amen. It is by coming to God to be born again that we cease to be dead and become living. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Finish. Coming to him as to a living stone, mm. rejected indeed by men, mm but chosen by God and precious. No, I want you to repeat. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God. Chosen by God. And, the and precious. Mm -hmm. You also, as living stones, mm -hmm. are being built up a spiritual house. So you are building or being built as a spiritual house begins when you come to him. It is when you come to him that the building of the house of God that you are begins. It is when you receive with him to the first measure that you become the house of God. Which house now you keep building by receiving the rest of the measures of the spirit. you come to him and receive the spirit of the first measure that you become the house of God you become the son of God now the rest you are now building the house you have become now let me tell you something it is those who are the house of God that are candidates of building the house of God God does not demand a 
upon those who are not the house of God to build the house of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is those who are the house of God that are candidates for building the house of God. Praise the Lord. You also, as living stones, mm. are being built up a spiritual house, mm. a holy priesthood. A spiritual house. So the house of God that we are is not a material house. It's a spiritual house. Aye. It is material that lives by the life of the spirit. So it's a spiritual house. We are not a physical house. We are a spiritual house. Amen. God does not dwell in our physical bodies. He dwells in the body of Christ that we have. He dwells in the spirit, spiritual house. Which will become when we receive the first measure of the spirit. Of the spirit. Now, if you receive the first measure to become the house of God, then you receive more spirit to build that house of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house. Yeah. A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. Malisa. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. Why are we in the house of God? That we may live out acts of righteousness before God. That we may offer spiritual sacrifices to God. That God may receive a sweet smelling aroma from the heart. That God may receive righteous living from this environment that is supposed to be the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Praise the Lord! Melissa. You, you also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, mm -hmm. a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices, mm -hmm. acceptable... Now, anything that God gives us material. He gives us as a reward for the spiritual sacrifices we are giving to him. Anything material God gives you, he gives you in response to your acts of righteousness. Where God is not being sacrificed to, God is not granting anything. And those who are sacrificing to God, to whom God is granting material results, one has a few. Praise the Lord. So material results are God's means of rewarding us for sacrificing to him. Yet it is God in us who sacrifices to the God in heaven. One has a few. Which means it does not begin with sacrifice. And it begins with us building the house of God. Come on, magnifying the measure of God in us. And so the measure of truth. To enable us offer much more sacrifice that we may move God to reward us with more material results. Praise the Lord. Amen. You, you also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. With Jesus. The Christ in you. The spirit of Christ in you. What has the feel? You offer those sacrifices by the spirit of Christ in you. And the, you, the sacrifice itself that you offer is also the same spirit. Aye. Amen. I'm saying the sacrifice we offer to God is the spirit of Christ in us. Amen. Christ in us is the lamb, the sacrificial lamb of God. Christ is the sacrificial lamb of God. We don't have any other sacrifice that is acceptable to God except Christ. Amen. Bible says this is my only son with whom I'm well pleased. But as a few, praise the Lord. Amen. So we are not a pleasure to God beyond the measure we have 
raised his house. That we have one as a fuel. We are not a pleasure to God. We can't please God. Beyond the measure we have built there. We may not be even in sin. But we are disabled from giving him more pleasure beyond the house that we have. But as a fuel. Because the measure of the house we are is the measure of the truth that we possess. Is the measure of the truth that is available in us. In us. And that truth is what when we give to God, it becomes black. Pleasure one as a few. Praise the Lord. Amen. So God rewards every one of us to the measure they are pleasure to him. Now I'm in Agai. One. Get there now. And let's finish there. From verse one. That is what I wanted to teach. Okay, one. Haggai chapter 1 from verse 1. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel, the son of Shiti, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying... Let me tell you, this was a coming to a nation that is in crisis. Very serious crisis. A people that things are happening in contradiction to what God has promised them. A life contradicting the promises of God. Completely. And that's the one, that's when now the word comes. Praise the Lord. A people that have been promised God, but are living as if they are without. Praise the Lord. Finish. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord came. These people say, repeat. These people say, the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should and be built. And that is the attitude of everyone who is prayerless. That is what everyone who is prayerless says by action. That the time has not come for the house of God to be built. Prayer is our mother means of building the house of God. So when I don't pray in that silence, I'm saying it is not time to build the house of God. That's the attitude of everyone that does not pray. And the consequence here are the consequence of everyone who does not pray. Praise the Lord. These people say the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. The time that the Lord's house, and you may ask, why did I say that? No, when you don't pray. When you are not keen on prayer. Am I? Yes. To forfeit prayer is to forfeit building the house of God. Yeah. God wants you to just have forfeited building his house. God wants to see you being not keen in building his house. And according to God, you are denying the fact that every season is a season for building the house of God. You are saying it's not time to build the house of God. Praise the Lord. Which to me is, when I say it's not time to build the house of God, it is to say, it is not time for God to accompany me in my daily life. It is not time In all areas of your daily life. To forfeit prayer, or even to be sluggish in prayer, is to have chosen the devil. Because you cannot lack the house of God and lack the house of the devil. You cannot lack God accompanying you. It is only where God is present that the devil is absent. Now, God is not present here. Beyond the measure we are provided in my house. Here. Amen. 
But listen, do you know why God does that? Because the minute you are born again, you have been given the right of fellowship with God. You have been given the spirit of God that you may fellowship with God. With God. And that you may receive more God. What does it feel? To magnify the house of God in, in you. You have been enabled to receive God without measure by the new birth. The fact that you are born again, God has given you the license to receive him into your material vessel without measure. In other words, to raise the house of God without measure. measure. So you are not saying you want to profit from others. God will ask you, what about your own? I've given you a license to receive the fullness of me. What has the feel? What have you done about it? You want us to benefit from others. Praise the Lord! Amen. Listen. These people say the time has not come. Let me tell you, God does not judge sinners for not raising his house. Because he has not licensed them to raise his house. He has not enabled them to raise his house. But God judges believers. What has the feel? Sinners are not candidates of prayer. It is those who have the spirit of God that are candidates of prayer. What has the feel? God is so precious. He cannot just give himself to you and you don't want to pray. What has the feel? You don't want to satisfy him in prayer. Yet he has come in you for one purpose. That he himself, given opportunity by you, may fellowship with God in heaven. And receive more of himself. What has the feel? And raise the house of God in you. From glory to glory. Come on, praise the Lord. Now listen. Let me tell you. It is when the Spirit has come and crucified the sin nature in us that the pattern of God has been established in us. There is no pattern of God unless we have gone for the Spirit. What has it feel? The pattern of God being established in us and God finding way to us takes place simultaneously. Praise the Lord. Amen. These people say the time has not come, the time that the Lord, Lord's house should be built. Then the, the Lord. No, up, up. The time has not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. What has a few? If building the house of God is the only responsibility given to a Christian, then it means we exist and live here for building the house of God. Our only reason for existence here, our only reason for living as sons, it is building the house of God. Praise the Lord! Raising the house of God, providing God with a house to exist here and define himself to the world is the only reason for our living. What does it feel? Sons of God should only live not for themselves but for God. Sons of God live not for themselves but for God. Through the law I die to the law that I may live for God. Praise the Lord. So the only reason for your living, imagine you fail to pray. So you fail to pursue the only reason for your life. And you know what happens? You die. If you don't pursue the only reason for your life, for your living, you die. Ah, come on, praise the Lord. Amen. Building the house of God is the, your only means of receiving more life. Amen. Receiving more life. Life of God, one has a few. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that if you don't live here, you don't pursue the reason for your living, you die. You die spiritual. Spiritual, the one has a few. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. So we exist here. The only reason believers exist for now. The only reason Christians are here. The only reason sons are here is for raising the house of God. Yes. Once we have raised the house of God, I mean our responsibility for our life here is over. Aye. Our reason for living is fulfilled. To the measure we have raised the house of God. Amen. Our reason for living. Because God is the reason for our living. Amen. What does it feel? Amen. That reason is fulfilled. To the measure I have become the house of God. Amen. That reason is 
final destination of a Christian life here. When they die, no. Our raising the house of God is our means of walking spiritually. Now, when we walk to the hand of that walk, then our reason for living is over. Come on, praise the Lord. The reason for our living is over. We have come to our final destination. What does it feel? You are as closer to your final destination as the measure of the house of God you have raised. And the measure of that house that you are still to raise. Praise the Lord. Why? Because my responsibility when I'm raising the house of God, when I'm becoming God, the responsibility of my life is being held from my physical shoulders to the shoulders of God. What does it feel? Come on, praise the Lord. I mean I cease to live when the physical man is completely eliminated out of this vessel. That is the end of me. Come on, praise the Lord. My responsibility is over in this life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why? I live here only for raising the house of, house of God. As long as you are not raising the house of God, you are not pursuing God's reason for your living. You are not being a Christian. A Christian. You are not being a son of God. Son of God. One has a few. Every son of God that is pursuing the reason for their living is growing. But as a field, we exist here to grow. Amen. Come on, we are born again to grow. Aye. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the measure we have grown is the measure we have made God's reason for our living. Amen. God's reason for our living. Because we live not for ourselves but for God. But as a field, we live to raise the house of God. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen. These people say, the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Do you see the first church? They stop everything, they go to the upper room. What are they saying? Luke is saying, my dining hall spiritual is not the reason for my living. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's saying that is not the reason for my living. That is, by the way, what has a few? My work is not my reason, the reason for my living. What has a few? Do you know why? I'm not supposed to do my work. It is God that I'm housing who does that work. What does it feel? I exist to raise him a house. I exist to raise him a house. What does it feel? Praise the Lord! I exist to raise God a house. Once I have done that, my responsibility is all over. What does it feel? These people say, the time has not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. <laughs> the time that the Lord's house should be built. Can I tell you something? The whole economy of Israel was dependent upon the nature of the house of God in Israel. Every part of the economy of Israel, peace, financial breakthrough, of that nation. How they related with their neighbors. How they won their wars was dependent on the nature of the house they had raised for God. Now the entire economy of your life, child of God, is dependent on the nature of the house that you have raised for God. You can't go beyond that. What? It is God who produces the results in your life. It is God who determines whether you'll be peaceful or not. But as a few, it is God but as if you praise the Lord, it is God who determines your body health. But as if you, it is God who determines the health of your marriage. It is God who determines the warfare of your business life. But as if you, praise the Lord. So every part of the economy of your life, whether you will have the job or not, 
believe by God. By God, God has a few. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, do not worry what you shall eat, what you shall drink, what you shall wear. For your heavenly Father, which heavenly Father? The heavenly Father is the Spirit who dwells in the house that you are built. Amen. Father, as a few, you are heavenly Father. That man in heaven, he knows you need these things. Amen. He knows, he has in mind what you will daily need. Father, as a few, but now he cannot help you when he's in heaven. He must dwell here with you. Come on, he must be part. Of your daily needs, it must be part of your daily battles. Come on, praise the Lord! It is only the God whose house you are built, the God you have drawn into your vessel, who becomes part partaker. Praise the Lord! My brothers in us, whoever will open the Father, the Son, and the Spirit will come and deal with Him. What is done with Him? It is to become a participator. It is to come and co-bear. Born as a few. Come and become all things to them. Yeah. To them born as a few. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So you are economy, the economy of your life. Today you might be sick. Why am I sick? I'm lacking God. Born as a few. Yeah. Your marriage might be shaking. Why is it shaking? And you might talk a lot of things. Oh, this one is bad. This nobody is bad. Only the devil is bad. What has the view? What that marriage that is breaking today in this church is lacking is God. What has the view? They are lacking the house of God. Either both or one has not built the house of Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What that businessman whose business is not prospering is lacking. It's not business kings. No, it is God. Come on, praise the Lord. Born as a few. When you have God, you have all the wisdom. Wisdom born as a few. Praise the Lord. So Christians fail. The failure of every Christian is the failure of that material vessel to build God a house. Every failure in a Christian life is a failure to raise the house of God. It's a failure to raise the house of God. Born as a few. Every failure in your life is a failure to raise the house of you are wanting only to the measure you have not raised the house of praise the Lord. Amen. Even in your battle with the devil, you are wanting only to the measure you have not raised the house of praise the Lord. Amen. Raise the house of God, and every part or area of your economy is perfect. Perfect head. because the perfect God will be the one at work in all those areas. But as a few, and when God is the one at work. Then you are unlimited in all areas. One has a few. Praise the Lord. So the Christian has one hundred responsibility to raise God a house. Aye. Christian has the only one responsibility. They are spiritual growth. The growth of their sonship. Aye. Praise the Lord. And they have also the same responsibility towards the world. Towards the world. One has a few. When we are building our house, we are not building for ourselves only. We are building for the world. Yeah. For the more that house is raised, the more we manifest acts of righteousness to define God to the world. Oh, born as a few. The more we have availed God in us that he may define himself to the world through our material vessel, born as a few. Praise the Lord. I'm saying to build God a house, it is to give God your material vessel to honor. To build God a house is to give God your material vessel to honor. To one. Because the man that owns that material vessel is the man that exists in that material vessel. The man that owns you is the man that exists in your material ve vessel. One has a few. No wonder he makes up your character. Everything is made up of him. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Even your strength is his own strength. Malaysia. These people say. Yeah. The time has not come. And there you are. You are saying that, you know, sometimes you hear me here, uh, I feel bad. Because I understand. What are you do? You wonder why you should tell people to pray and you are coaxing them to pray. When that is an area 
that determines the economy of all areas of their life. Their lives. Their whole future, the future of a Christian is in God. The future of a Christian in all areas is in God. God, without God you have no future. Without God even you cannot live and see tomorrow. But as a few, praise the Lord. Everything in your life is dependent on God. On God, what has a few? So you should lack time for all other things. But one thing you should not lack the time. Unless you are full of fools. One thing, the time to build the house of God. The time to grow your sonship. You should lack all the rest of the time. And that's what the disciples are showing us. When they are stopping everything to go and wait in the upper room. Look at them. They are saying we have received the spirit to the first measure. This is a privilege. He is telling us we will receive what is in heaven. Which is superior to what is on earth. This is a privilege. Let us stop everything. Let us raise him a house. Praise the Lord. wise child of God. Let me tell you. I would rather die and not live. Truly, and heaven is a witness. Rather than live here without God. I would rather die. In fact, heaven is hearing. If I have no God, kill me. I don't want. I know how bad I Go to the temple, you have tasted God. Maybe almost the fullness of Him. What does He feel? I would rather not live than live here without God. It is better to go than to remain here without God. Now, if you had the same attitude, you would stop everything. You would have the building of the house of God as your priority number one, which it is not. Praise the Lord. Because if I don't, I can't live without God. One has a few. Can you read 15? John. Without me. So, so what are you living here to do? Without God, what are you living here to do? In the name of a Christian, without God, what are you living here to do? What are you living here to do? And if you are, do, you are living to do nothing, then you and the dead are the same. You and the dead are the same. Do you understand what I'm feeling? I mean it. I know some people are feeling. I mean it. Everyone knows it. And that's the way I see God. I see God with an heart. I know I have no life without Him. I raise the house of God with one heart, one attitude that I know I have no life here without Him. Amen. Because my life is His life. Amen. It is the Him that is my life. Amen. Why I live here when I'm dead already? Amen. See, I would rather die physically. Yes. Why I live here when I'm dead already? Because God is the life of the Christian. Amen. God is the life of the Christian. Amen. You don't have the life of God in you beyond the mesh of the house of God that you have raised. Let me tell you, to live here without God is to be dead alive. Is to be claiming alive when you are dead. Now, if I'm dead already, why should I live? If I'm dead already, why should I live? Kunaja! Mutu wame kupa kaya ba! Praise the Lord! Absence of God disables you of anything. You are completely crippled without God, Son of God. You are not able to accomplish anything here without God. What does it do? Because we don't live by sight but by faith. Aye. We don't live by sight but by faith. We live only by the life of God. Our activities are the activities of God. And we have no activities as sons apart from God. Praise the Lord. So to the message you have not the house of God. You have not built the house of God, you are in the grave. You are living in the grave. In the graveyard. Dead alive. Born as a few. And so that's what I'm saying. If I were to live here without God, I would rather go. And if I live here without God, I would rather go. 
kwa nikulize hiyo mwili wake ikitolewa damu yote hakuna alafu ikaa itafanya nini na hiyo damu yako ni nini life of god life of god is that blood that is the spirit your spirit of blood blood that's what makes the you the spirit man the son are you are you are born as a few so are you in existence without god if you are not in existence then you will not go physically praise the lord praise the lord if i am to live here and live for the devil the tormentor i would rather go home born as a few is where they live when they die what as if you come on praise the lord that's why christians should not also fear death because if they live here in heaven if they live here by the life of god then when they die they will go to the same place they live here yeah. praise the lord yeah. and that's why there is not there is no fear of death Amen. for a christian what as if you hata wa dunia wangejua angeogopa kufa kwa sababu hata wao wanaenda pale pale walikuwa What does it be where? Come on, praise the Lord! Amen. Aye, well, he's a lot. So your own economy is dependent on the house of? John chapter 15. Everything a, ch- a son of God owns is a blessing of God. It's a blessing of God. It's an attainment of Christ. Attainment of Christ. Attainment of the Spirit. Of sonship. In that verse otherwise without that spirit that son of god can attain now nothing. nothing that person can attain now nothing. nothing one has a few that's why our attainments are limited to the measure of god that we have to the measure of the spirit we have and so is our power power is for producing results one has a few we produce results only to the measure of the god we are now alice John chapter 15 verse 5 Then about when you are thinking I want to get it to your hands today That I have no reason living here without building God up In fact any day that bypasses without you attaining additional measure of the house of God according to God that is a day wasted That is a day you have attained nothing nothing hi that is a day you have attained nothing nothing because you have not seized in your physical man man what has a few praise the lord you have remained the same way so what's the day even you might have gone out and earned money but that is a day wasted because you live here for raising the house of god what has a few and the god considers you to have attained only when you have raised his up house one has a few Praise the Lord. Yes. John 15. Then you live here for one reason that you may find more God. That you may seek and find more God. More God. You live here for one reason that you may bring more God on this earth. What has a few for the sake of him defining himself to the world. That is the only reason why you live. What is? And that should be at you at young old small big managers house girls everybody we have only one reason for living raising the house of god god is the only reason for our living no matter who we are praise the lord we don't live here for work no we live here to draw more god what has a few to build raise more bigger house of god Because our attainment at work are dependent on the measure of God that we are, we have drawn it work. There is only God who already exists in us who can attain in the daily life of our working. Working, born as a few. Praise the Lord. Amen. John chapter 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit he who remains one with me Now being one with him is relative to the measure of the spirit already in you 
You are one with God or with Christ. Only to the measure of the spirit of Christ in. Only to the measure of the spirit of Christ has replaced the physical man in you. Your physical man is not one with Christ. But as a few. To the measure the physical man is still there, even if you are saying he is dead. To that measure, God has forfeited a house. As like a, a house. That is the measure you have forfeited the building of the house of God. Praise the Lord. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without so me, your fruitfulness is the measure of your abiding. And the measure of your abiding is the measure that you are living by the Spirit of Christ. Yes. Is the measure of the house of God you have raised. Yes. One has a few. The measure of the house of God you are raised is the measure you are abiding in Christ. That is the measure of your fruitful. Any other fruitfulness beyond that is sin. Whatever is not born of faith is sin. And you are living by faith in the measure you are abiding. One has a few. The spirit in you is the one we term faith. Faith. The spirit already in you is what we term faith. Your sonship is what we term faith. Praise the Lord. Do you agree? That failure, your failure to build the house of God is you are risking to transgress against God. Is you are risking to transgress against God. If you don't care about prayer, then you don't care about doing the will of God. Because it is God already in that house who does his will. And you can only do the will of God to the measure God exists in your material bed. Ah, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Yeah. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. Yeah. For without me, you can do nothing. For without me, let me ask you, are you living? When you are doing nothing? Are you living when you are doing nothing? To fail to live is to be upside in the king. Kingdom one has a few. Praise the Lord. So without him, you can do nothing. If without him, you can do nothing, then do you have a reason for existing here without him? One has a few. Is the only reason for your existence. You are existence on this earth. One has a few. Praise the Lord. So I don't need to live. If I'm going to live without God, God, one has a few. If I will live without being in the house of God, then I don't need to live. To live because without him, I can do nothing. Nothing born as a few. And that means torment on my sight. Means suffering born as a few. Because I will depend on the torment of the death. Born as a few. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, Bears much fruit, for without me... So your measure of fruitfulness is the measure of the house of God you have raised. In all areas, whether happiness, whether peace, what has a few? Come on, praise the Lord. Can I tell you, children of God, even the married, when you find yourself having battles, one, don't blame each other. Two, don't fight each other. None of you is bad. There is only one man that is bad. The devil. Amen. And there is only one man that makes the devil quit. Yes. God. Yes. So, when you find yourself in that way, and if you don't know what to do, come to my advice. Create each other the best environment, the most conducive. And encourage each other to each seek God. Amen. And the devil of your wars will quit. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, praise the Lord. Yeah. If you and your neighbor who is a Christian, you have no peace. Yeah. You are fighting. The only wise thing, one of you should be wiser. It is to stop the fighting. You cannot fight the devil when you are fighting God in your fellow son. You cannot fight the devil when you are fighting God in your fellow son. The devil makes us fight 
each other, that we may cease to fight him, that he may find a conducive environment among us. Praise the Lord! Even if you are sisters, you are in the house, don't fight each other. Come on, praise the Lord! Because you will become the devil laughs. <laughs>
Even me and her, my wife, we cannot stop. And it will be quite a little. No, we have learned through experience. The same thing. To get you food, sir. See how you can get you food. Experience. To get you. The best times are when we have created the best environment for seeking God in that house. Now, there cannot be best environment where there is trouble. That is the devil wanting to finish my daughters and sons. One has a few, and the daughters and sons of God. Praise the Lord! Amen. Come on, praise the Lord! Amen. Let me tell you, you are dead Is there anyone who destroys your environment for seeking God? Amen. You are dead in Is there anyone who destroys your environment for building the house of God? Awesome. Praise the Lord! Amen. Who eliminates the conducive environment? Your spiritual hair. Say yes. But as a view, yes. don't allow your dead to chop your hair. Yes. No matter who they are. But as a view, they may be your business partner. Yes. Don't allow them. Yes. But as a view, they may be your neighbor. Yes. Don't allow, they may be your husband or wife. Yes. Refuse to allow them. Yes. Focus on God so much yes. that you cannot see what their life is doing. Yes. You cannot hear. Yes. Come on, I'm manipulative words. Yes. Because you are so much hearing from God. Going to your house to defeat that Delilah. Come on to bring down the free city. Fill us in the bonus if you praise the Lord. Come on, Let's create a conducive environment. Even for each other in the church. Yes. Create in conducive environment for that brow is closer to you. For that sea. And we will all find God. Because we know the devil. There is no human who is bad. No. No. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. 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 And the win or attain our spiritual warfare by raising God a house. Amen. Our spiritual warfare is pursued by us by raising the house of God. Aye. We fight and defeat the devil. And we have fought him and defeated him to the measure we have raised God a house. To the measure God is enough. Amen. Because where God is present, the devil is absent. Amen. To that measure, God has a few. Praise the Lord. Amen. God and the devil have no battle to fight. So that when God Shut up! The devil has forgotten. Praise the Lord! Amen. So raise God a house and the devil will be absent in all areas of the economy of your life. Yes. All areas of the economy of your life. Yes. A devil absent in form of the physical man in your vessel. Is a devil absent in all areas of the economy of your life. Amen. Your life. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. Let's be wise. Let's be do you want love to prosper? That is the secret of prosper. I even even young married couples, even young people, even Siri, that's the ability to move. You know what? Even your Siri, they could let them marry by you. Number one has a few. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Malice. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me. When you are buying in the branches don't bear fruit. So the, the material of God that we are is the branch. There are branches, members of our body are branch. They don't bear fruit. No. It is the God we are brought in that house who bears fruit through our material body. One has a few. So we cannot be fruitful beyond the measure we have brought Christ in that house. One has a few. Because without me, you can do that. You can do that. Praise the Lord. Are we capable of an act of righteousness without him? And God rewards us for our act of right? That's what puts God around us in poor. Praise the Lord! Those are the evidence of our sonship so that God can be obligated to us. To us. Praise the Lord. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Imagine. Yes. 
without without my existence in you can do nothing um, so our moment of praise our moment of attracting our mother moment of attracting fruitfulness in all areas of our life our moment of building the house of God is our moment of increasing the fruitfulness of all areas of our economy of the economy of our life one has a few so when you are praying there you are dealing with your business you are dealing with your marriage to increase fruit, fruitfulness. You are dealing with your job. You are dealing with your career and the profession. To increase the grace. To improve the grace. The grace one has a few. Praise the Lord. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to talk to you. I miss you. But look at me. But look at me. Watch. My Christ. I don't know how to talk to you. But I don't know how to talk to you. Uye naikuwa kutini? Kutini. Uye simu kristu. Kwa na atane piu. Uye ni muti? Mutini. Na kwanza wa dindi wa liwa ya? Awa ndi wa baya zaidi mungu wa na wachukia. Kuliko vila wachukia shetani. Sato wala na jipati wa wachukia zaidi ya shetani. Kuna maana gani? You cannot live the way you want throughout. Na Sunday is the day of prayer. You enter there. Ukingi hapa mwala mwana anza kutubu. Father in the name of Jesus I repent. I repent. This week has not been good. I know even I've been in this, this God, and I'm entering the church. You are not entering the church. You are supposed to be the church. Amen. The house of God, you are in the church. The church. Only the church should come yeah. in the gathering of believers. Amen. Praise the Lord! As we are here, 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 kuwa kata katoka kwa ndani yako unaendelea kunyonga unaoliza nafasi utukutu ungele muku muku kibwana as a few praise the Lord alisa let me tell you to forfeit praise to advocate the death of the little measure of Christ in you it is to advocate the death of the little spirit of sonship in you of the little God that is in in you you are advocating his death. Then you are advocating your own death. Your own. Then you are your own mother. By not praying. You are self mother. Mother, I want to ask you. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Go back to our guy. Haggai chapter 1, verse 2. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, The time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. You know why? Because you lack knowledge of the reason, your reason for building the house of, house of God. Um, because building the house of God is your means of drawing life that you may live. Drawing life that you may live. It is either you build the house or that. So you should value the building of the house of God in you the way you, la you value your life. The way you value your life. your life. Because that is your life. One has a few. God who exists in you is your life. Your life. And without him you have no life. Life. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Without him, you are dead. You are in a coffin, waiting to be taken to hell. But as if you were, because I'm sitting here with my wife, with my wife, wife, and you are making a good time. But as if you, but when I see you, yes, but as if you, praise the Lord. She doesn't have a wife. Wife, praise the Lord. I want to take a job, baby. My list. These people say. The time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses? Is it time for you to dwell in your paneled houses? One has a few. Praise the Lord. Is it time for you to be busy with the physicals? Is it time for you to be up and down, looking to gain the physical? And that is sin. Yes. You are not supposed 
to seek for these other things. You are supposed to seek for the kingdom. You are not supposed to be up and down to build your physical houses. You are supposed to seek God that he may build your physical house. You are supposed to seek God that he may prosper the material areas of your life. Your life, one has a few. Praise the Lord! The prosperity of your material areas of life is not your responsibility. That's God's responsibility. Your responsibility is to draw God into yourself. Your responsibility is to grow the God that you are. Your responsibility is to raise the house of God. Praise the Lord! Come on, praise the Lord! Let me tell you, friends. After what I have given the Lord in this life, let me tell you there is nothing you cannot become in God. There is no limit to what we can become in God. Let me tell you the house girl can become the, house, the wife of the president. Can become the queen in the land. In God, that's, my, that's what I'm saying, one as a few. Praise the Lord. There is no measure. You know what? Because God comes in you to eliminate your limitations. God who comes in you to make you unlimited. Unlimited. Build him a house. You are eliminating your limitations. One has a few. Now you are down there because of your limiter. Limitations, one has a few. Praise the Lord! Then you can be anything. After where one come and say, Mimi ni konathi. Mimi si nai. Si nai. Where was your shita? Otherwise, seeking God or building the house of God is an open check. It's an open check. Check! That you sign by your praying. You sign by your studying the word. Come on, you sign by receiving the spirit. Praise the Lord. You can be anything, businessman. You can be anything in God, even in business. There is no level that business cannot go with God in you. When it is God in you, well, you can say like Paul, I no longer live. But as a few, now you have drawn even the fullness of him. Aye. Praise the Lord! That is the only way of a child of God overturning their life is building the house of God. The only sure means of a child of God overturning their life is building the house of You overturn your life, overturn your career, overturn your business life. Overturn your job life by building the house of praise the Lord by bringing God to be in the place of the physical man what does it feel by bringing the unlimited to the place of the limited what does it feel is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your permanent houses and this temple those all value physicals too much until they have no time for building the house of then you are too busy to pray. Let me tell you. Can I tell you something bad? You are too busy to live. You are so busy that you can't live. Too busy to live? To be too busy to pray is to be too busy to live. By the way, you have no life. Amen. It is too, because we live by the Spirit. We live by the life of God. Now, if you are too busy to draw more of that life, so you are too busy to live. What has a few? Two busy to live? Come on, praise the Lord! Yes. Now Jesus said life is more important than bread. Yes. That bread, what has a few? Yes. That life is more important than bread. Yes. Why don't you stop my bread? What has a few? Why don't you cut off some time out of the bread? Because the bread is inferior to life. Yes. Because you have to be living to eat. What has a few? Yes. You have to be living first to eat. Yes. Come on, praise the Lord! Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses and this temple to lie in ruins? And this temple to lie, lie in ruins? That's what he's asking them. One has a few. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Amen. Can you stand up? Maybe it's there. Stand up. 